In this video, I am going to install Debian 12 in a virtual box in a Windows 11 host. So I'm going to download the Debian operating system. So the site is debian.org. I'm going to click on download. And this is Debian 12 here. The version is bookworm. So I'm going to download the ISO file. And also I'm going to download the VirtualBox software. So this is the latest edition, VirtualBox 7.0. I'm going to click on Windows host and it's downloading. So both files are here. This is the ISO file, Debian, and this is the VirtualBox. So I'm going to install the VirtualBox first. I'll click Next, click Next, click Yes, click Yes again, and click Install. So it's installing, I'll click Finish. So this is the VirtualBox Manager. I'm gonna click New. So I have to type a name for the virtual box. I'm going to type Debian 12. And this is where the virtual box is stored. So the type is Linux. The version is Debian 64 bit. I'll click next. So you have to set the memory here. I'm going to set it at four gigs. Now you don't want to go beyond the green line. It has to stay within the green zone. So the processors, I'm going to increase it to three CPUs. I'll click next. So in the virtual hard disk, I'm going to increase this to 80 gigs. I'll click next, I'll click finish. So this is a summary of the settings. So I'm going to click on settings. So on the left side, I'll click on general, I'll click advanced and the shared clipboard section, it's disabled. I'm going to select bi-directional. So when you select bi-directional, that means you can copy and paste between Debian and the Windows 11 host. I'll click on display. So on the video memory, I'm gonna increase it all the way to 128 megs. So in the extended features, I want to enable 3D acceleration. The 3D acceleration feature allows applications within the virtual machines to use the 3D properties available on the host machine. I'm going to click OK. So I'll select Network. I'm going to leave it as NAT. But if you would like your virtual machine to be accessed from another computer, then you'll have to select Bridged Adapter. I'll click on Storage. So under the controller IDE, I'm going to click on Empty. You want to click on the CD icon. And here is where I have to browse for the Debian 12 ISO file. I'll choose this file. So I'll select the Debian ISO file, click Open. Click OK. Now I'm going to click Start. So the virtual machine is starting. So graphical install is selected. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to leave it as default English. Click Continue. I'm in the US. I'm going to click Continue. I'll click Continue here. So it says here, please enter the host name for this system. You can leave it as Debian. I'm going to type Debian 12. I'll click continue. In the domain name, I'm going to leave it blank. Click continue. Now here is where you have to type a root password, but you can read this also. It says the root user should not have an empty password. If, if you leave this empty, the root account will be disabled and the system's initial user account will be given the power to become root using the sudo command. So I'm going to type a root password. I'll re-enter it here. I'll click continue. Now here's where you have to create a user. So whatever username you would like, you can type it in here. I'll click continue. Click continue. Now I have to type a password for that user that I created, Tom. I'll retype the password. I'll click continue. So this is the configuring the clock and I'm in Eastern time. I'll click continue. So I'm going to choose the first option. So this is partition disk and I'm going to select the first option, use entire disk. I'll click continue. So this is the disk. I'm going to click continue and it's going to be all files in one partition. I'll click continue. So here it says finish partitioning and write changes to disk. I'm going to click continue. So it says write changes to disk. I'm going to select yes, click continue. So this is going to take a few minutes. 
So it says if you wish to scan more media, please insert another one. I'm going to leave it as no. Click continue. Now here's where you have to configure the package manager. And this is where you want to find a mirror of the Debian archive that is close to you on the network. So I'm going to leave it as is, United States. Click continue. You can choose any one of this. I'm going to leave it as default. Click continue. I'm going to leave this blank. Click continue. So on this page, I'm going to leave it as no. I'll click continue. So here's the software selection. Choose software to install. So I'm going to use the GNOME environment. I'm not going to use the Debian desktop environment. I'm going to uncheck this first one, Debian desktop environment. I'm going to leave GNOME selected. Click continue. So on this page, you want to install the Grub bootloader. I'm going to leave it as yes. Click continue. I'll select the hard disk. Click continue. So it's finishing the installation. It says finish installation. Click continue to reboot. I'm going to click continue. So I get the login screen. I'm going to click on the username. I'm going to type the password. Hit enter. So here, this is the welcome screen. I'll click next. This is the type in, select your keyboard layout. It's English, I'll click next. Privacy, location services, I'm going to disable that. Click next, I'm going to skip this. I'll click on activities. So Debian 12 was installed. Now the screen is small, so I have to install the guest additions. So to install the guest additions, I have to go to the terminal. I'm going to type in the search terminal. So first I'm going to type sudo apt update. I'll type the password. So the user Tom is not in the sudo as file. So the user cannot perform administrative tasks like installing software. So I'm going to add the user Tom to the sudo as file. So I'm going to exit of this account and I'm going to log in as the root user. So I'm going to type su, hit enter. So I'll type the password for the root user. So I'm logged in as the root user. So I'm going to edit the sudo as file. So I'll type nano btc. I'll hit enter. So this is the sudo as file. So you want to use the arrow keys on the keyboard and go all the way down until you see root user. So here it is, user privilege specification. So I'm going to add the user there. I'm going to add Tom and I'm going to copy all this permission and paste it next to Tom. So I'm going to save this file. I'm going to hold the control key and O. Hit enter and to X out of this, I'll hold the control key and X. So I'm logged in as Tom, and Tom has sudo privileges. So I'm going to run the update. I'm going to type sudo apt update. I am going to install the kernel headers, and I'm going to run this command. It says, do you want to continue? I'm going to type Y, hit enter. So now that the kernel headers are installed, I'm going to go to Devices, click on Insert Guest Additions, CD Image. I'm going to exit out of here. I'll click on the File Manager. So here is the Guest Additions. It's installed as a CD image. So I'm going to open back Terminal. I'm going to click on Activities. I'm going to type Terminal. So now I'm going to create a new directory, and I'm going to mount the CD image of the guest additions in that directory. So I'm going to open terminal. So I'm going to type this command to make the directory. I'll hit enter, type the password. So now I'm going to mount the CD image into guest additions. So I'm going to type this command. I'll hit enter. I'm going to get that warning message. So I'm going to change to the directory. I'm going to type CD. Hit enter. And I'm going to type this command now. So this is the file that I have to run. 
I'll hit enter and the guest additions are installing. The guest additions are installed. So now I'm going to reboot. So I'm going to type this command. I'm going to log in. So I'm going to go to full screen mode. I'm going to click on view, full screen mode. Click switch and it's in full screen mode. So these are all the apps. So in the software app, you have the updates, the installed and explore. So these are other apps that you can install and they are listed by categories. I'll click on installed and these are all the software apps that are installed. You can uninstall the apps if you want just by clicking on install. So this is the file manager and you can see all your folders here. There's also LibreOffice and with this it's similar to Microsoft Office. So on the top right, you click on those icons. You have all these options here. You can switch to dark mode. There's settings. You can turn the computer off here. This is the settings. And here you can configure your network. Also, you can right click on the desktop. You can change the background. There's a bunch of options here. There's dark mode. So if you want to exit from the full screen mode, you just have to move your mouse all the way down, click on view, click on full screen mode. So if you want to get your mouse cursor out of the virtual box, you just have to hit the right control button on your keyboard. So I'm going to test the copy and paste. So I'm going to copy from Notepad from Windows 11. I'm going to paste it here in Debian and copy and paste works. So I'm going to install Google Chrome. I'll type terminal. So I'm going to type this command. I'll hit enter. Type the password. So now Google Chrome is downloaded. I need to type this command to install it in Debian. Type the password. Type Y. And Google Chrome is installed. So I'll type Chrome and it's here. I'm going to double click on it. I'll click OK. And Google Chrome is installed. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I thank you for watching.